Hi, my name is Ryan Price, and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial about changing the style of images using an interesting module for a triple seven. Uh, I'm also inspired today by a good friend of mine, Galen Adams, and uh, you can check him out. He does really cool stuff with servers and Drupal and the web. So if you're in a Drupal site, sometimes you have a situation where you maybe want to have one image with a certain style, but you want to have the same image displayed somewhere else in a different style. And uh, the example that we had specifically was to make this image rotate. Here I want to have an image in color in one spot and in grayscale in another spot. So uh, we found a really neat module that someone wrote called Entity Image Style. It's pretty easy to install and download, although right now it is only available via Git clone, but hopefully the module developer will release a full release of it soon because I think it works pretty well. So in your regular modules area, um, you download and install entity image styles, and you need to have the entity API, and the image and file modules, and the field from core, and field SQL storage in this case. And so we already had all of those things. We turned it on, and then we headed over to our permission screen just to make sure that um, we had the right permission to be able to administer this module. And then uh, the really important thing is, in this case, if you look under the configuration menu, so here's my configuration screen, and here's my media subheading, it's called Entity Image Style Settings. It's something that this module specifically adds. And it's a list of all of the entities on your site. So nodes are a type of entity, as well as files, because we have something called Entity File Install, um, taxonomy terms, and users. So any, any of these could use this style if we wanted. So in this case, users could actually choose which, um, in this case, preset they want to show up for their um, user picture, let's say. So that could be kind of interesting. I want my picture to be grayscaled, or I want my picture to be a little bit bigger, or a little bit smaller, for who knows what reason. Um, so that's pretty interesting. And you can do you can do a lot of interesting stuff with um, image styles. So in this case, I need to check my photos content type that I want to be able to use this module. And I save the configuration. And then I head over to my content types screen for photos, and I click on the manage display tab. So we've got an image field here called photo. And then what we want to do is we want to change this format drop down. Um, when I first looked at this, I, I tried to change under the gear, and it wasn't there. So it took me a second to realize that, in this case, I actually want to change this format to, and it was set to image, and now I want to change it to entity image style. And once you do that, you get an extra um, little setting here that says, what's the default style that you want? So for any, um, for any node that's already existing, it's probably going to use this, I assume. And then for anything new you create, it'll start out as this thumbnail style. And then you move on to your actual content. So let's find a piece of content that we created. And we want to edit this. And here you see is the original picture. And here you see I've got a special box here that I can choose. If I choose the regular medium size and I save it, comes back here and it's in color and then if I go back to edit and I choose my medium grayscale style instead and I save it now it's in black and white okay and then to actually use the example I mentioned which is rotating the picture I've also set up another preset that's called medium rotate left and I go ahead and save this and if you check it out you can see that my picture has been rotated to the left. Very cool stuff. So thanks once again to Galen, and I have been Ryan Price. You can find more tutorials and articles about all sorts of technology stuff at ryanpricemedia.com.